you know, I wish I could play music on the podcast, especially because of copyright situations on YouTube, but I think my theme song would be perfectly fitted as Papa was a Rolling Stones. Because every time there's like a specific situation and, you know, I can't just seem to catch a break, but I definitely would have played Papa was a Rolling Stones. Because this is absolutely crazy. So, ever since I got kicked out of my apartment in uh, St. Louis, the hotel was okay because I didn't have to live with anybody. Well, technically, yeah. But, you know, Pat's bed, you still have your own room. But still, you know, you're living with people. And then, you know, you don't know what their comfort level is as far as, you know, temperatures in the house. And... You don't know if there's any Karen in the past split like I had when I was in the past split that I first moved in when I came to Texas. I did, you know, I just can't get a break. I just literally can't get a break. So I I I I I, I have one from one past split with a parent uh with a Karen and um and you know a situation where I couldn't even change the uh. The uh, temperature, you know, just having to wind up freezing. I'm going to have to wind up starting wearing, you know, top. And, I mean, uh, not a top, but uh, not shorts. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to start wearing long pants until I can temporarily go to another path flip until I could go to Dallas. Now... I was going to go to uh, Pat, uh, not Pat Blair. I was going to go to Pod, Pat, uh, Podcast Moment to DC, but I had some insider information that uh, I could wait until next year, but I'm not going to share with that right now. Only a few, only uh, one of my um, cabinet members already know the, the deal, and then, well, actually, two of my cabinet members know the deal. But this is ridiculous. I can't find a regular. You know, a regular place without any problems. I mean, I just, it's it, 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 it just, it's just, it's it just, um, I just can't take a break, catch a break. Uh, I mean, now the reason one is problems with the, uh, when I turn on the heater when I get cold and then I'll be coughing at some times and, and I, I just have been having panic attacks and I've been sick off and on. Frequent trips to the to to the restroom all day, almost all night, and uh, <laughs> I, you know, it's like every time I want to plan to move at a uh, time that I wanted to. Nope, it's always time to be early. But I want what I want to do is try to get four months in Sofia because that's like two hundred eighty, two hundred ninety dollars. Because I still. Would like to get some courses and then probably try to get a math course in that I'm going to have to take it at a regular college. And, you know, once I get the math classes, classes in, I'll be home free. But I can't do it if I got to move every time and my song is playing. You know, if I was in the WWE or AEW, that would have been, that would have been my song, Papa with the Rolling Stone. Even if I come in at the ring announcer or even if I come in at the commentator, the song would be Papa with a Rolling Stone. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway. So now I can't now I'm banned from touching the uh the uh, the uh, way you can put the heat on or the or, or the cold air on. I mean I'm you know, it's like I can't it's bad enough when I when I was at my last pass but there was a glass so that nobody couldn't touch it. Now I can't even, I can't even touch it at all. So, I, it, 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 you know, it's just, it just, it, it just doesn't end. It just doesn't end. Then I snap when I uh, saw one of my friends that I used to like. Well, she was here back in the Northeast, but I saw uh, a friend who I uh, used to like uh, uh, romantically, I should say. And thought with her husband again. I mean, that did, you know, because she only used the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it's just a trigger. It's just a trigger. 
I'm the one dealing with panic attacks. I have severe depression. I have PTSD. I have anxiety. And I have insomnia. I didn't ask for that. I did not ask for that. I avoid some things like a plague. You know, the fight and flight response. I avoid some things like a plague. So now, even when I do go to the bathroom with the uh, the heat on, I know I can't touch it because I got talked to twice. And, you know, try not to de-escalate things because I'm trying to save enough money so I can move to Dallas next year. Okay. I mean, this is ridiculous. I want to, I mean, if I did have to move to another place in Houston early, I want to try before it gets too hot. I want to really go, shit's really going to hit the fan. Because I get heat stroke easily and everything like that. But that's like, uh, that's like everywhere. And now, uh, I got to be Tilly really the Penguin. Under the covers all day, unless I unless I go to the bathroom or get something to eat, or fix my drink. So I just started looking for pad split um, in Houston and, and Dallas for next year. I hope they will still have it by the time I get there next year, because that is the weekly rates are so high. I only found a few that's reasonable, but sometimes they have a few room. So what I did is I put it on my favorites list. So. When it does time for me to look, hopefully it'll be like in December. Then, you know, I can move. I can move in. But right now, I put it. Uh, put a part where I could transfer, but not, not, not May, but in June, because I want to do this. The the uh, the four month. Yeah, I wanted to do the four month subscription. I don't have to feel rushed. I don't have to feel like I'm gonna lose a class like I do in a monthly class, uh, monthly subscription. And then uh, you know I could try to pass. I could try to pass as many classes as I can, and then transfer over to my school. Which I'm still deciding. By the way, I thought I did, but then you know with this faster situation, it's really driving everybody up the wall. I can't win. I just can't win. I can't get comfortable. What's the point of what's the point of getting comfortable if you're not allowed to be comfortable? What's the point? What's the point of being happy and you're not even supposed to be happy? What's the point? What's the point of enjoying things when you can't even have things to enjoy? What's the point? Or back in the days of the Hillary Clinton, what difference? At this at this point, that doesn't make well. I probably screwed that up. That was probably a long shot, but still. Every time I try try to make something comfortable for me, I always get screwed, always, without fail, without fail, every single time. I can't find the right church. I can't find the right lady. I can't find the right passport. Uh, 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 people turn heel on me. It's. Wow. Wow. This is not real. This is not even real. Why? Why? All I ask is if I could try to remain at a place until I could go to Dallas next year. That's all I'm asking. And then I've already found out that I, that speaking of Dallas, I've already found out that I'm still on the waiting list on a lot of places in Dallas. So I asked for like a more more affordable housing, but you know, but uh, other than that, yeah, I'm still on the wait list for them them in Dallas, but it's it's too long. It, 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 it's it's really too long. I'm in, I'm on the wait list in Baltimore, but I'm also on the wait list in Hawaii. I mean, I, yeah, I could go to college anywhere online. You know, that's the whole point of me trying to get to college online, but. Yeah. I mean it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I can't be I can't make comfortable. I can't be happy. I can't enjoy myself. It's a lot of can'ts. It's a lot of can't. And then I can't figure out what the what the hell wrong with me. Because every time I go to uh a uh, 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 ER or a clinic, oh you count a lot of negativity. 
Well, I know what it means because every time I take a test, it's going to come back normal. So I come up with a joke that said that, oh, whatever bothered me, it always like to hide, and then I'm supposed to suffer in silence. That's my, that's my personal joke. You know, I'm supposed to be knocked out, dragged out because of a whatever. And then when I try to get it checked out, oh, let's hide. He's taking an x-ray. Oh, there's an MRI. Let's hide. So everything could be not normal. No, not a blood test. Not a blood test. Anything with that. Let's hide. So everything could be normal. Yeah. Everything is always normal. Yet, I'm the one that's suffering in silence. It's like I'm a literal, real-life ghost. A literal, real-life ghost. This is just unbelievable. You know, I didn't ask to be a widower. I didn't ask for that to be this back in 2016. My dream come, came to when I was married. I was learning the ropes. I was learning how to be a husband. I was doing fine. I was doing fine the first year. I was doing fine. And my dream was to have a long-lasting marriage. You know, the whole two death doors part thing? That was my dream. Not one death, but us part. Us, together. Together. Not just one, and then one suffering, falling through the crack, trying to figure out how the hell he's going to survive. And then wondering, why the hell was he left behind? Questioning. Figuring out why he can't survive or can't win for nothing. Unless you, unless I have a Sam Club membership, but thank God for that. Because if it wasn't for Sam Club, I would have been done, I, I would have been done for regardless. <coughs> The tap water here is nasty. Uh, 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 and, you know, and then, even though the weekly price is low, you're in the middle of nowhere. I had to do what I had to do. I had to literally had to do what I had to do. Because I had to get out of the group home situation because I had no privacy to talk to my friend. And then I had no way to do my podcast at the, uh, at the, um, at the group home. And then the custodian that brought the camera back was when I was at the day program, and one person told me, you know, back when I started taking time off on my back problem, she didn't care about my back and said it twice in front of bamboo people. I mean, I can't win. Then we had a bad month in, um, in March, almost the whole entire month. And then I'm having reoccurring things about going, uh, going on a train and stuff like that. Well, except for a good dream, but it was a double decker, uh, double decker train that said having express. That was the only good part of the dream. But anyway, <laughs> come on, come on. Hey, publishers, clearing out. If you listen to me, could you please come and and, and, and give me a prize before you know I have to move again in, in um in uh June. But I'm trying to move before it gets uh before it gets to where I keep having heat stroke and 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 it pass out because I, there might be one summer where I might not make it, okay? There might be a winter where I might not make it. That's why I'm not up north now. Why did my wife couldn't take me with her? Why she couldn't take me with her is my question. It's beyond me. I mean, it's just definitely going to be a boring life of you when all they're going to see is me um, um, uh, laying in bed, watching videos and stuff like that, or trying to take a class or something like that. Other than the exciting part when, when I do go out or stuff like that. They better just show the exciting parts during the life of you because the boring part is going to put people to sleep. It's going to put people to sleep. I have boring parts in my life. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? I have boring parts of my life. And if they show the parts where I'm in bed all the time, it's going to literally put them to sleep. Literally. Literally and figuratively. Just show the uh, sighting parts. <laughs> uh, 
I gotta suffer in silence. Me. Me. Prince DJ gotta suffer in silence. <sighs> Unbelievable. This is just plain. Unbelievable. Well. Well, I know I know my man saying this, but hell has no full fury like a woman's comb. I gotta be out of here before I get bite.